same tune, Stephen A., you defend Jerry Jones. He was only 14. Tamir Rice was 12. You see what I'm saying? Emmett Till was 14. They didn't get no damn passes. So why Jerry Jones getting the pass? You know, I, I, I once again, I don't even think the NFL had to go hard because the black media defended Jerry Jones. I, Listen, listen, we got Dr. Mojasson on fire right now, so we're going to keep it going. What about having a Kyrie Irving, him getting destroyed and taking it bravely for us as people, but then coming out and balling right now versus Jerry Jones getting getting just one or two people talking about oh, what he man. did, but not no criticism or no Yeah, the double standard. The thank you. double standard. You know, the way they tried to destroy Kyrie just for tweeting a video. That was insane. But you know what did Kyrie in? And I'm coming back to you, Stephen A. It was the way the black media destroyed Kyrie. They lynched him before the NBA could. Charles Barkley, I hope they, what do he say? I hope they drop him. Yeah. Why would you say that? My daughter is married to a European Jew. Nigga! You bragging about that, Charles Barkley? <laughs> He's bragging on national TV that his black daughter is married to a European Jew. And he says, it hurt me personally. But Breonna Teller's death didn't hurt him at all. Sandra Bland's death didn't hurt him at all. Look at that. You crying tears for a video. A video. But you ain't crying tears about the actual loss of black life. And then Charles just recently donated a million dollars to two different HBCUs. He's trying to clean up his image a little bit with black folks because I think he know he went a little too far. African cultural art form. This is the only place I get my shea butter from. Always. It's moisturizing. This, it smells good. I absolutely love it. All my friends love it. So I'm here to buy some for my friends. So come to African cultural forum, 52nd Street, and get your scented shea butter. And he might be a little afraid that the ski mask club might get him. So he donated a million dollars to two different black colleges. But it's a shame. But my point is, I think the black media did a far worse job on Kyrie than the whites did. I don't think the Jews in the uh, NBA commissioner come out with that six-point uh, restitution plan for Kyrie if Stephen A. and Shannon and Charles and uh, Shaq destroyed Kyrie the way that they did. Black media lynched him. But... Same tune, Stephen A., you defend Jerry Jones. He was only 14. Tamir Rice was 12. You see what I'm saying? Emmett Till was 14. They didn't get no damn passes. So why Jerry Jones getting the pass? You know, I, I, I once again, I don't even think the NFL had to go hard because the black media defended Jerry Jones. I mean, Shannon went, on, went at him. A couple of them went at him, but they didn't go at him nowhere, nowhere nearly as hard as uh, they went after, went after Kyrie. Brett Favre, no jail time? Brett Favre wasn't even charged. $77 million scheme. Do you know what would have happened <laughs> Speak on it. if a black superstar retired, stole $77 million of public money from poor folks. They'd be under the damn, you would have been destroyed for five million. He scammed 77 million to build his daughter's, uh, I think it was volleyball team, a new court. Yeah. And he not even being charged. White power. White power. Let me I'll ask you this question. Why you this is the perfect time, not to cut you off. This is the perfect time to be a history teacher or a social studies teacher or a civics teacher. Because everything you need to show black kids that white people are just as racist now as they were 400 years ago, it's, it's on the news every day. You don't have to go through the history book and find examples of racism. Every day we're seeing things that make you say, my goodness, could they be any more blatant about the hypocrisy? But you'll still find blacks who put their hand on their heart and pledge allegiance. You'll still find blacks with that flag hanging on their house. You'll still find blacks telling you I'm proud to be an American. And I keep on asking Negroes, can you please tell me what is it about America that you're so proud of?
Peace and Pan-Africanism. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism, King Kong Consciousness, Dr. Umar Ifatunde. I'm live and direct at ACAF African Cultural Arts Forum. I've been coming here since I was 20 years old, a baby Garvey. I don't see so be more. Y'all better pull up the ACAF right here. My elders been holding this down forever. We got everything you need. We got the incense. We got the shea butter. We got the sea moss. We got the herbs. We got African jewelry. We got African artwork. You will see some of this artwork inside of the FDMG Academy, but make sure you pull up. 